Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Entrepreneurial Finance Valuation of Business Ideas. Let's assume you have an idea, you found an angel who wants to invest 100,000. What's the amount of shares he gets? Well, it depends on the valuation. So, the same situation Twitter was in when Ron Conway approached Twitter and said, I'm going to invest in your company. He invested, I think, in the end, five million, but why didn't he invest a million for the same amount of shares? Well, that's a good question, and this is a very difficult question, because looking at Twitter, for example, who's going to believe in Twitter today? And who's going to believe in a business model of Twitter today? Maybe they have found one, maybe they are going to be successful over many, many years, maybe someone else is taking over their job. Nobody knows about that. And especially in the early days when Ron Conway invested, it was full of uncertainty. And uncertainty means there's no track record in this company you can use to predict the future to some extent to say, okay, I expect the value of the company going that way. And in that moment, at that moment, business angels still invest in companies and they have to find an amount they put in and they have to find an amount of shares they get for that. You as the entrepreneur with the business angel together. And it's very clear that you as an entrepreneur um, one, one only wants to give a low number of shares and, and the angel wants to have more. So how do you agree on that? Well, first of all, you can, you can approach that problem academically and say, okay, there's like discounted cash flow methods. So you discount the cash flows of the future to today, and there you have valuation. But what do you do in an uncertain situation, especially when you only have negative cash flows? What do you discount then? So this, that might be very academic for these companies like Twitter, for example. Or you can use multiple methods. You can compare this company to other companies, but is this company really comparable? Maybe. You can also try to use what venture capitalists use, some kind of like return investment thinking. When is this company exiting and what could be the value when exiting the company? So what does it mean for today? And so on. There's, there's more and more quick and easy answers to that. Well, basically, Darrell Wash said the value of an early stage opportunity where angels invest almost doesn't matter within reasons. So there's no good reasoning for that. These either work and are phenomenal in their returns or they don't work. So it's a zero or one. Either you have lost your money or it's going to be millions more. This is where it is. And then you can't really find good reasons for the one or the other valuation. This is why business angels, especially when valuating companies, go very, very easy approaches, which we can find on the next slide. And the one method which is used is the Burkis method, and it's from Dave Burkis. He basically values a deal based on a simple formula. He says, okay, if it's a sound idea, that's a million US dollars. If it's a prototype, it's another million US dollars. If it's a good management team, it might be another million or it might be two million. If it's a great board, so they have high board quality, it's another million. When they already have made sales, they have a million. So you can add up the millions there and maybe you end up five million. And this is the real rule of thumb. It's really simple. It reflects, to some extent, a very reasonable way to look at startups. However, it is still unclear which is right, what is right or, or wrong. And it leads to big discussion with entrepreneurs. However, you have to come up with something like this. A rule of thirds is a third for the investment um, for, to the founders, a third to the capital provider, and a third to the management. So if you start your business, you are the owner-manager, you have two thirds and one third goes to the capital provider. Is that fair? Well, you might say I discounted, I calculated a discounted cash flow method. This doesn't sound fair, but it's again, it's very simple, very quick, but it leads to big discussions. 
So mother said first round will usually cost the entrepreneur 40-60% of the company. Is that fair? Maybe 40% is, is really a lot. Maybe 60% is too much. You see, if it comes to these uncertain situations, for example, of Twitter, of all the other companies who just started, it comes to very, very quick and easy approaches to valuation. That probably ends up in something what you can see in the US and also in, in, in Germany as a rule of thumb. In the US, you have some kind of 5 million limit. No startup, even if you make great cash flow calculations, can, is, is going to be evaluated higher than 5 million. So the rational to some extent is 10% of the startups will generate 50 million US dollar and compensate the remaining investments. So one out of 10 is going to be a 50 million sale. So if all the others are going to be bankruptcies, they can't be more than worth more than 5 million. That's the simple idea. Is that fair? Well, it's not very theoretical as there's no theoretical foundation for that. However, it is what happens in practice. In Germany, numbers a little lower. If you look at the investments which are currently being done in Berlin, for example, the sweet spot might be between half a million and a million. Might be a little more than a million. But if you come up with a great internet idea, have a business plan, you are a good entrepreneur, the probability to end up anywhere between a half a million and a million is pretty high. If you have additional sales, it might be different. If your company is also already up and running, it might be different. But this is what happens right now also in practice. Again, it's quick and easy, um, but there's no background to that uh, based in any, any kind of theory. So in the very end, you as an entrepreneur or an angel investor, you find yourself in that situation Twitter was. Ron Conway probably put in $5 million. We don't know about the valuation because he thought it's a high potential or a no good number of users. It, it's a good capitalization strategy. It's a unique business idea. So he's, he's adding arguments for putting so much money in, but still there's uncertainty and risk, or in most cases there's uncertainty. So you can never do a good valuation. You can only rule use rules of thumbs and this is what business angels do to evaluate potential investments businesses.